Hey, yo, what's good? What's poppin'? What's happening with you all? It's your boy, Gold Phoenix, in the flesh. Rise from the ashes and be blessed. Listen up. Let's see if I can get this out of the way a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Um, I'm sitting here in Laredo, Texas. Interesting thing happened not too long ago. I was delivering a load that's going to Mexico, so I was dropping it off at the border. And a guy pulls up to me when I was parked on the side of the road, blocks my truck in, so like I wouldn't have been able to move without wrecking his car. And he asked me if I could help his friends get up to like Midtown Laredo. First he asked me if I was from there or if I stay there often. Of course I lied. I said yeah. <laughs> Cause um it is my first time coming to Laredo. But then he asked me to help his friends and I was like, nah, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Then he offered me a thousand dollars a head. At this point, I knew what he was getting at. Right? You you're trying to get me to um help some people get in where they probably shouldn't be. For a thousand dollars a head. First off, not enough money. And secondly, I could lose my license for the rest of my life if I got caught. No, I'm not doing that. Figured I'd share that. It's been um uh, a pretty interesting day. But now I'm just sitting at the yard. <laughs> waiting on another load hasn't come in yet but anyway that's beside the point i kind of wanted to go through these comments i got on the last video some of the feedback you guys gave me which i do greatly appreciate um but i figured i'd go through some of these and just respond to it get my thoughts on what some of you guys were saying some things i might agree with some things i might disagree with or whatever but nonetheless i appreciate you guys feedback so i've had gonna go ahead and read through these joints you feel me first one that pops up a new cascadia no um this guy says to go power only get my own numbers no governing up percentage yeah, okay um i'm not gonna finish reading that comment because i see where you're getting at the guy who said this is one of my favorite subscribers i'm not gonna lie so I'm not gonna not gonna go in on you but what I will say and hear me out I've been in this industry for two years I'm not at the point or at least I don't believe I'm at the point where I can justify going and get my own DOT numbers because now we talking authority um I have no desire to own a truck right now I just owner hopping I can see how it could be lucrative personally I just don't want to right now I've got no desire whatsoever in the future maybe it is definitely on the table but as for now I like being able to just walk away you see what I'm saying I could go out and buy a truck right now if I wanted to don't get me wrong I have the money for it but I'm not gonna spend it I'm not ready to take that leap of faith just yet I know people who are owner operators. I know some people that run the spot market. I know people who do certain types of hazmat and you know other things that cannot. I'm not going to go into detail about. But the thing is, that's them. And since I am considerably newer than the people that I know doing these things, I'm going to kick back. I'm going to learn what I can do in the position that I'm in right now, and I'm going to watch how it works out for them. I'm going to learn from them to see how they do things how they you know manage the books how you know type of loads that they do the procedures that go along with those loads where they go i i need to learn as much from their triumphs and their mistakes as i possibly can before i decide to jump out into that you see what i'm saying now i could have my own authority and still be with the same company i am right now am i gonna do that no personally i'm satisfied with the amount of money i make I ain't tripping. I just made, I'm not going to say how much I made, but I just made a, a nice, nice little bit this past week. And after I did this load, I'm about to make another nice little bit this week. I'm going to take two weeks off. I'm not tripping on it whatsoever. I'm about to take two weeks off what, in December from like the middle all the way past Christmas and I'll come back out. So I'm not about to add any more responsibility onto myself that I already have right now. On to the next. This guy says Volvo is a Cadillac 
stack of trucks. I've heard that. I've heard that a lot. But I've also heard plenty of people say Peterbilt's ride better. I have no experience with a Volvo, so it'll be completely new to me. Now, this guy said get a Western Star. No. Uh, this guy said the truck I want has a shower, bedroom, kitchen, costs 500000 You must be talking about a super sleeper. Those things are dope. I'm not going to front with you. Um, Volvos are nice. Put about 70000 Currently at 393000 That's what's up. I'm at just under 288000 on my truck right now. Um, so it has a D13. I'm driving now. Only issue I've had is a small coolant leak ride was better in the 2016 Cascadia. Hold up. Are you saying that the Freightliner rode better than the Volvo you have now? Because if so, that, that's interesting to me. I, I really need to go to a Volvo dealership and just test drive one. It says, definitely don't feel the wind in the Volvos as much as you did in the Freightliners. Good truck. Jake's could be stronger though. I shift is okay. Now, see, that's the thing I'm curious about people rave about the ice ship they say it's the best automated transmission you could get now i have an eaton endurance transmission in this truck and i love it to death i definitely like it more than a detroit dt12 i think the dt12 is a nuisance this one is immaculate phone call this one is immaculate now i guess we'll just have to wait and see i know the newer peterbilt still have the Eaton Endurance transmission in them. So, text messages. Um, I know I could adjust to that one pretty quickly, but I guess we just go ahead and wait and see. This guy says, as you are soon to be training and teaming, I'm gonna get into that in a little bit. The size of the Volvo living space and also a larger fridge would certainly add to comfort you desire. Yes, that's exactly what I was thinking. He says, however, a part of me thinks it wouldn't hurt for you to extend the <laughs> trash channel, <laughs> inner trash channel, y'all remember that? <laughs> the trash channel and hold out for a 579, they'll eventually have one for you. Yes, the thing is, I kind of just want to get out of this truck. I thoroughly enjoy it, but since I am about to start training, that's really what's on my mind and I don't want to train in this thing longer than I actually have to. You see what I'm saying? I could definitely live with it. It's incredibly low mileage right now, so I could do with it. But the question is if I want to or not. You see what I'm saying? Like I'm not I'm not too keen on that. But speaking of training, I guess I'll let you guys know what's going on with that since I'm sure some of you think I should have a student by now. This is what's happening. I have to take classes before I can train any students, right? I'm going to take those classes, but after I take my home time, see, I got a sister, she's about to graduate from university. I got my birthday coming up and then Christmas, a couple days after my birthday. So I'm about to just take a boatload of time off. I'm gonna enjoy all of it. I'm gonna be with my sister, be with my family. We're gonna hang out, we're gonna go have fun. We're gonna celebrate her success. You know celebrate my birthday i guess which i don't typically do but i know my friends are gonna want to so we'll see what they up to christmas you know another thing um i had another friend i missed her birthday this month actually still november and i wasn't there so i'm gonna celebrate that late where you know do whatever i might take her to roof chris or something we'll see what happened and then um after I come back out on the road, which would be around December 27th. The plan is to go up to the yard. I'll have to take another week off and then take all of the classes I have to take, learn what I need to learn, have them train me on whatever they want to train me on. And then after that, I'll start to take students. The first student I have to take, I have to help them get their license, which is bunch of babysitting I'm not too excited about that but I will get it done what I need you people to understand because if you run into me I know I don't say what company I'm with but people know what company I'm with if you run into me or I end up being your trainer 
you have to understand I only care as much as you do I'm not gonna be the guy who says oh we have to do I'm not gonna babysit you constantly I'm not going to be up your behind no you show me that you're here and you're here to work and you you want that license you want to succeed you show that to me I will do everything in my power to make sure it happens but I only care as much as you do. So if you show me you really just here wasting time, you BSing, acting skullduggerous, I'll get rid of you. No ifs, ands, or buts. Because there's one thing I'm not going to play with. That's my money. I'm not going to play with my money like that. But we could be friends. Realistically. We really could. Just know that you have to put in the work. You have to put in the work. That's the, that's the biggest thing that needs to be understood because a lot of people come up here and they get into this industry and they want the fruits of the labor without the actual labor. No, you're going to work. No ifs, ands, or buts about that. But anyway, I think that was the last comment pertaining to that video. My guy, you're stuck. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you're not getting out. Yeah, I was gonna pull up. This guy's trying to get out trailer blocking him, truck blocking me in. I was gonna pull out and let him slide through this little gap right here, but I guess we both stuck. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna continue to wait on another load and upload this. Now, as I always tell you guys, be happy, stay blessed, not be afraid to make drastic changes in your life. It might end up being the best decision you ever made. These fingerprints are driving me insane. I'm Gold Phoenix, and I'm out.